So we have the graph of y equals f of x right over here. And we want to figure out three different limits. And like always, pause this video and see if you can figure it out on your own before we do it together. All right, now first let's think about what's the limit of f of x as x approaches six. So as x, let me do this in a color you can see, as x approaches six from both sides, Well, as we approach six from the left-hand side, from values less than six, it looks like our f of x is approaching one. And as we approach x equals six from the right-hand side, it looks like our f of x is once again approaching one. And in order for this limit to exist, we need to be approaching the same value from both the left and the right-hand side. And so here, at least graphically, so you never are sure with the graph, but this is a pretty good estimate, it looks like we are approaching one. Right over there, let me do it in darker color. Now let's do this next one. The limit of f of x is x approaches four. So as we approach four, from the left-hand side, what is going on? Well, as we approach four from the left-hand side, it looks like our function, the value of our function, it looks like it is approaching three. Remember, you can have a limit exist at an x value where the function itself is not defined. The function, if you said what is f of four, it's not defined. But it looks like when we approach it from the left, when we approach x equals four from the left, it looks like f is approaching three. And when we approach four from the right, once again, it looks like our function is approaching three. So here, I would say, at least from what we can tell from the graph, it looks like the limit of f of x as x approaches four is three, even though the function itself is not defined there. Now let's think about the limit as x approaches two. So this is interesting, the function is defined there, f of two is two. But let's see, when we approach from the left-hand side, it looks like our function is approaching the value of two. But when we approach from the right-hand side, when we approach x equals two from the right-hand side, our function is getting closer and closer to five. It's not quite getting to five, but as we go from you know, 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, it looks like our function, the value of our function is getting closer and closer to five. And since we are approaching two different values from the left-hand side and the right-hand side, as, a, as x approaches two from the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we would say that this limit does not exist. So does not exist exist, which is interesting. In this first case, the function is defined at six, and the limit is equal to the value of the function at x equals six. Here, the function was not defined at x equals four, but the limit does exist. Here, the function is defined at, f equal, at x equals two, but the limit does not exist as we approach x equals two. Let's do another function, just to get more cases of looking at graphical limits. So here we have the graph of y is equal to g of x. And once again, pause this video and have a go at it. See if you can figure out these limits graphically. So first we have the limit as x approaches five of g of x. So as we approach five from the left-hand side, it looks like we are approaching this value. So let me see if I can draw a straight line that takes us. So it looks like we're approaching this value. And as we approach five from the right-hand side, it also looks like we are approaching that same value. And so this value, just eyeballing it off of here, it looks like it's about 0.4. So I'll say this limit definitely exists, just when we're looking at a graph, it's not that precise. So I would say it's approximately 0.4, it might be 0.41, it might be 0.41456789. We don't know exactly just looking at this graph, but it looks like a value roughly around there. Now let's think about the limit of g of x as x approaches seven. So let's do the same exercise. What happens as we approach from the left, from values less than seven, 6.9, 6.99, 6.999? Well, it looks like the value of our function is approaching two. It doesn't matter that the actual function is defined. g of seven is five. But as we approach from the left, as x goes 6.9, 6.99, and so on, it looks like our value of our function is approaching two. And as we approach x equals seven from the right-hand side, it seems like the same thing is happening. It seems like we are approaching two. 
And so I would say that this is going to be equal to 2. And so once again, the function is defined there, and the limit exists there, but the g of 7 is different than the value of the limit of g of x as x approaches 7. Now let's do one more. What's the limit as x approaches 1? Well, we'll do the same thing. From the left-hand side, it looks like we're going unbounded. As x goes 0 0.9, 0 0.999, 0 0.99999, it looks like we're just going unbounded towards infinity. And as we approach from the right-hand side, it looks like the same thing, same thing is happening. We're going unbounded to infinity. So formally, sometimes informally people might say, oh, it's approaching infinity or something like that. But if we want to be uh, formal about what a limit means in this context, because it is unbounded, we would say that it does not exist. Does not exist.